Um, <clears throat> I keep a list of um, people on my phone. Um, and I keep a lot of different lists um, in the notes app. Um, and, you know, I like to write down notes for different reasons. Um, I hear a lot of interesting quotes or I hear, um, you know, just an interesting perspective on something. Um, and I like to write it down for later. Um, and in this particular notes, um, I have a list of people who inspire me. Um, and it's a pretty wide range. Um, I have people who inspire me, um, uh, who are sort of like heroes, um, to me in a way, um, for their own different reasons. Um, and then I have anti-heroes. Um, so people who are, um, maybe not completely above board, um, but are in some way, um, you know, successful or emblematic or enigmatic, um, and people who I, uh, see and respect something in them, um, whether or not they are, and for example, you know, you could say, you know, oh, uh, you know, the devil because he's a hard worker, right? I mean, something like that. Um, but, um, it's a pretty wide range of different types of people. Um, and one person who I, um, came to really appreciate over time, um, as I got older, um, was, um, Steve-O from Jackass. Um, I grew up in Pennsylvania, um, not too far away from where Bam Margera, uh, grew up and lived, um, and where the whole Jackass story kind of started. Um, but I never grew up watching the movies, um, and they were definitely off limits. Um, but as I got older, um, I found them really funny. Um, you know, I think a lot of other people did too at the time. Um, and I still think there's a lot there that is still pretty funny. Um, if physical comedy is your thing. Um, but why Steve-O is interesting to me is... <clears throat> Unlike Bam Margera, who does struggle with substance abuse um, pretty publicly, um, Steve-O overcame his addiction um, and was really public about documenting it. Um, I think that he was very public about documenting most all aspects of his life. Um, but why I really respect him was that... Um, as I followed sort of his journey, um, on the internet, on YouTube, watching him make his videos and tell his stories about his life, um, it was really inspiring because, um, I mean, you know, he overcame an enormous challenge. Um, and, uh, if you look at him compared to a lot of the other, um, members of Jackass, um, you know, I think that his character and his style are really interesting. Um, and he said something that kind of stuck out to me. Um, you know, he, I think he was talking about, you know, he was talking about his past being in the circus and all those other kind of things. If you don't know who he is, or if you've not heard him talk about any of his past, I would definitely recommend, um, looking at it. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, but, um, you know, he's a, he's a stunt man at heart, um, and, uh, stuntmen do things that they, uh, may not come naturally to, uh, all of us. Um, and he had said something which was interesting to me, which was his concept of one, two, three, go. Um, and he said that, um, essentially, you know, he, uh, stays very true to this. Um, and the idea that, you know, he counts to three and then goes, uh, doesn't think too hard about it, uh, and just does it. Um, I found that really interesting and inspiring for myself. Um, I'm at a point right now where, um, I've had 
enormous opportunity um, and I'm incredibly grateful for um, <clears throat> the ability um, and the support to try a lot of different things um, in very rapid succession. Um, and uh, there's another great quote um, out there, but, you know, sort of fail fast and forward. Um, and failing fast and forward is really tough um, because um, failing hurts, um, especially if it happens quickly. Um, and it can definitely feel like you're not moving forward. Um, and so, um, getting up and trying again is very difficult, uh, for a lot of people, um, for a lot of different reasons. And, um, you know, I'm at a stage right now where, um, I am starting the next thing. Um, I don't know what that is yet. Um, I am not supposed to know what it is yet. Um, but, um, I know that I have to try it. And, um, another person on my list, um, of inspirational people, um, is a gentleman named Rick Rubin. Um, if you're on the internet at all, um, you might've heard of him, or if you like music, you might've heard of him. Um, I read his book, um, The Creative Act, A Way of Being, um, and I really liked it. Um, I think that, you know, being a relatively creative person, someone who enjoys the creative process, um, it can be really difficult um, to find the uh, energy um, to practice creating. Um, and there's some really interesting tips and tricks in that book um, on how to be um, a better creator. Um and one of them is, uh, or essentially the essence of it, is to um, try to do different things in different places. Um, and that can mean a lot of different things. Um, one example might be uh, draw, uh, well, one, one interesting example, which was not from the book, but, you know, people say, uh, if you're drawing a portrait, draw it upside down. Um, and it kind of forces you to think a little bit differently. Um, or let's say if you're filming something, you know, film it in black and white. Um, I think that was from the book. Um, and so um, these kind of tactics um, that sort of take you uh, one step removed um, and kind of allow you to see things in a different light um, can be can be useful. Um, and I thought that was really interesting and really cool. Um, and um, not knowing what I'm doing... Um, being relatively okay with that, um, but being open to the spirit of the um, being open to the spirit of creativity, um, having done many different things in the past, um, and reflecting on. Um, a lot of those experiences in my past and trying to pull some um, thread of consistency throughout them. Um, I think that uh, being creative is one of them, uh, one of those strands. Um, and it's something that I'd like to continue for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to support myself doing that. Um, and I'm not sure how other people are going to support me, if that makes sense, right? A um, dollar earned is a dollar spent. Um, so that's part of the mystery. Um, but I think you have to be open uh, to the unknown um, if you're if you're committed um, to discovering something new. Um, so that's where I am coming from. Um, and that's why I'm starting to make videos. Um, I've always really enjoyed YouTube. Um, as someone who uh, always sort of struggled in school, um, I was a very poor reader. Um, and I was really hated the idea of reading out loud to people. Um, it's 
if you're if you're dyslexic, which I am, um, it's probably one of the most anxiety inducing experiences of your entire life. Um, I mean, imagine being, you know, between the ages of, I don't know, eight and 16 and having to read out of some ridiculous summer reading book or something uh, in front of all your friends and looking like a complete illiterate idiot. Um, but YouTube is a great place to learn if you're an inquisitive person because um, obviously it's all audio and visual. Um, so um, I always really loved YouTube. I spent a lot of time on YouTube. Um, I have an enormous amount of appreciation and respect for um, the people who created YouTube. I think that it is a incredible tool. Um, and it's something that has meant a lot to me and has taught me a lot um, uh, throughout my life. Um, and to be a drop of water in that ocean um, is is cool. Um, so that's why I'm calling my videos one, two, three, go. Um, the first three videos, um, I made were just to get started. Um, they're not good. They're not supposed to be. Um, but they're out there. Um, I'm not sure what kind of format I'm going to do moving forwards. Um, vlogging uh, might not be my thing. Um, I've never tried it. But um, I'm a relatively private person. Um, and I would be maybe a little bit uncomfortable putting my life online. Um, this format is cool um, because I'm talking directly to you um, in the quiet and comfort of my home. Um, and I don't have to be in people's way. People don't have to bump into me on the street. Um, I don't have to be distracted by whipping a camera around. Um, but I'm not going to count it out. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the value is that I bring, uh, to, uh, the internet, um, or to you, um, the audience. Um, but... I'd like to discover that. Um, I'd like to find um, a place um, where I'm helping people um, in whatever way that is. Um, I think that the idea of helping people is sort of maybe the wrong term. Um, I don't mean helping in the sense of like, you know, come with me to Africa while I administer, you know, vaccines. Um, and it's only made possible because of you guys. Um, I'm not sure that that's my place. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Um, and I think that people who do that are really cool. Um, but I'm not sure that that's for me, um, at least not right now. Um, and... There have been a lot of really interesting videos that have helped me. Um, you know, I mean, I was just looking up a video about how to make steam for your coffee, right? I mean, like, that's helpful, you know? That was great. I really appreciated that. Um, I was really grateful that someone took the time to make that video. Um, but... Um, If I'm going to keep doing this, it has to be for a reason. Um, I'm not conceited enough to think that people care about me just because I'm putting myself out there. Um, I care enough about me just by putting myself out there, um, but that's not what I'm after. Um, 
so we'll see what happens. Um, and it'll be interesting and exciting um, and uh, weird and tough and a little bit um, probably icky at times, um, for sure. Um, and, you know, I appreciate um, any feedback um, that you guys want to give. Um, I'm going to try to keep the feedback loop quiet, um, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want to be caught up um, in the revolving door of insecurity that I think a lot of the internet can enable. Um, so, you know, if there's something that um, I missed, or if there's something that um, you think is interesting uh, or important that, you know, I might want to know about, um, then I would appreciate it if you um, left a comment. I think that that's the, the standard format. Um, as far as the like button goes, um, I don't know if there's a dislike button anymore. I remember there, there used to be one, uh, or maybe that was Facebook, but, um, you know, I don't like videos, you know, um, I don't smash the like button. Um, I know that the algorithm, you know, knows when you do, and then it tells you more of what you want to hear because you've liked a video. And I think that that's sort of another feedback loop trap that I don't really want to uh, suck anybody into. Um, so I'd actually appreciate if you didn't really like the button. Uh, if you do like it, uh, because that's how you interact with YouTube, that's fine. Um, but um, I won't take it personally if you don't. Um, I hope that everyone else on YouTube doesn't take it personally when I don't like their videos. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to make another video uh, tomorrow. Um, I'll try to keep it regular um, for my own accountability, um, but also uh, just to kind of fail fast forward um, and try to do different things in relatively rapid succession um, because, um, you know, I would hate to make a million you know, long format, these kinds of videos. Um, and uh, only after you realize that like nobody cares and I'm not doing anything for anybody by doing this. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, I might talk about, um, you know, uh, so I've been meditating uh, a little bit um, and I might share um, some, some takeaways from that. Um, I've been spending a lot of time um, uh, writing down uh, thoughts and ideas. Um, I really enjoy um, three-dimensional computer modeling um, and I like uh, using uh, photo editing software like Photoshop. Um, and so, you know, I've got a couple of different projects that I'm working on. Um, and so if anyone's interested in sort of seeing like that stuff and seeing my creative process for, um, you know, coming up with an idea and then sketching it and then putting it into the computer and then rendering it and then putting it in Photoshop and then turning it into like an advertisement or something like that. Um, that'd be cool. I'd love to share that with anybody who's interested. Um, if that's not what people are interested in seeing, um, that's fine. Maybe leave a comment and tell me what you would be interested in seeing or hearing about. Um, you know, I've got relatively interesting stories. Um, you know, I don't know if they'd be interesting to you. They're interesting to me. Um, I've met a lot of really cool people in my life. Um, I've met some pretty shitty people in my life. Um, I lived in cool places around the world. Um, so I don't know. Um, you know, there's, there's stuff to offer. Um, if anyone wants to, to ask, um, 
but uh you know we'll see how it goes um i don't want to do like a lot of editing um just because i believe in keeping it simple um uh so yeah thank you very much um and if you stuck around this long um i appreciate it um if you're seeing this video and you're like hey i know that guy um cool um so yeah i uh, appreciate it thank you very much um and uh and hopefully um i'll see you next time